0MGY, welcome to my first review of 2016. Hope you've all had a happy new year. Something a little different today. Normally I show radios and antennas. Well, we're looking at uh, the Alto Professional Live 802 8 channel 2 bus mixer unit. Back in the uh, summer months, I uh, looked at the on air design interface box for using mixers with both CB radios and amateur radios so I'm going to uh, use this mixer via that uh, probably through my Yaesu FT840 well looking at the unit there we are Alto is a, a, a company based in the U, uh, USA who was founded in 2000 and uh, they make uh, mixer decks and various pieces of uh, audio equipment for uh, live bands, uh, studios and the uh, home musician as well as you know for uh, other uses such as computers and uh, hi-fi. So the unit, um, it is 8 channel, I only will be using one of the channels, the uh, left hand side one. It does come with 5 XLR microphone inputs, which are at the top there. Um, it's got a DNA microphone preamp. It's got a dynamic compression, channel 1 and 2. Got a three band EQ plus two auxiliary sends per channel. 60mm faders with mute switch and LED. And the uh, faders are really smooth, they actually glide really good. Um, USB audio connectivity with level control, that's on the rear basically. You can uh, Plug in your home computer or your laptop and run that through it, through speakers. It's got a 100 Alesis DSP effects. That's on your right hand side down there. It's got um, a blue LED display. And this gives you such things as, uh, it sounds like a large hall, reverb, delay, chorus. got uh, balanced XLR but balanced unbalanced quarter inch outputs at the top graphic equalizer nine band graphic EQ for the main or monitor outputs it's got a headphone output with independent level control and on this side we'll just pan in there To uh, the right of the effects, it's got uh, phantom power on and off, which is that one that allows you to use phantom mics what need power or not. And below it, you've got uh, your levels uh, LEDs. So that's basically it. Another good feature with the unit all the control pots are colour coded blue green and red so if it's if you're using it as a, a band in a dark environment you can see the controls quite easily what does it come with where you get the unit it is extremely well made quite heavy it's got a metal chassis with uh, plastic side panels comes with the power lead unlike some of the cheaper mixer decks that have a uh, little transformer that plug in the wall uh, commonly known as a wall wart this is mains output so you've uh, input should I say it's got um, uh, what's commonly known as a, a kettle plug and a three pin moulded plug for UK use also comes with a comprehensive handbook in uh, multiple languages and that's the packaging quite a large unit just have a look around it oh, 
at the bottom of your sliders. There's your uh, quarter inch plugs, sockets and inputs on the top. In front of the uh, XLR inputs. So that's a look uh, at the top controls of the Alto Live 802. So on the next part of the video we'll have a look at uh, the rear panel. Right, the rear panel, you've got your AC input, a rocker switch for your power, next to that the white plug is your USB-B uh, audio in and out for the computer. RCA uh, leads, you've got uh, CTRL out, the two sockets there left and right, balance to unbalance left and right, they're all quarter, quarter inch jack plugs and on your far right there's the main mix output balance to unbalance and that's uh, a pair of XLR uh, sockets. So that's the rear panel. This is the full uh, unit with the leads and the Heil microphone. Uh, I'll uh, just take the camera off the tripod and we'll have a look at each part individually. Right, the mixer unit will be plugged through this box which is the on air designs unit used in conjunction with either the foot switch there or the hand PTT which is that one there uh, leads that I've uh, bought by the well known manufacturer quality brand called Van Damme They'll be plugged uh, through the mixer into the uh, interface box and then finally from the microphone which I'll be using as a Heil Gold line it'll go through a Heil lead uh, into the mixer on that side so that's roughly how it'll be all working and the radio will be the ASU FT840. So we'll be back in a moment. To conclude the video of the Alto Professional Live 802, it offers extremely good value for money. It's well made. The price in the United Kingdom of £155 is extremely reasonable. And it has won the Future Music Value Award which is unsurprising. Thanks uh, to Mike at Nevada Music for sending me this unit and on future videos I'll have it wired up to the little Yesu FT840 transceiver and we'll see how it goes. So best 73 from Dave M0OGY. Catch you on the next one. Bye bye. Hello it's Dave M0OGY, welcome to my first review of 2016, hope you've all had a happy new year. Something a little different today, normally I show radios and antennas, well we're looking at uh, the Alto Professional Live 802 8 channel 2 bus mixer unit. Back in the uh, summer months I uh, looked at the on air design interface box for using mixers with both CB radios and amateur radios so I'm going to uh, use this mixer via that uh, probably through my Yaesu FT840 well looking at the unit there we are Alt